This one had a, this hole had a blind grommet in it, which I took out. This one, that's how it was. I mean, it can't be proper electricians doing these jobs, can it? It can't be, it can't be. Right, hi there, double air again. I'm getting on with this, this cable and tray run in um, this industrial kitchen. I do, I, I do another job like this and I do it a lot better, a bit, a lot quicker as well, because I know, I know what to do now. And I quite enjoy doing it, because I haven't done it before. Not that, not that I can remember anyway. I'll just show you what I've done. Here's the three armor. This is the 16 mil four core for the oven that's going here. It's 17.5 kilowatts, but they're gonna up it to 32 kilowatts at a later date. So I'm gonna have a 63 amp switch here, 32 amp, two 32 amps for the two washing machines. I'm gonna come down, cross under here, on move these to this position for those two cables. Put two outlet boxes down there for the connection because originally I was going to put it here but with the oven going I'm sure he said the oven's going to go here but it can't go there because if you try to open this it's got to start at least here so yes yeah, so I've got to allow for that and I didn't think that would be the best position for it it's not you know um, stuff in the way of that so I changed it to putting it here it's costing me more work but I think that's the best thing to do Right, um, there's my tray with the cable clips. Yep, I've used the metal clips, quite a few of them. It's an escape route. Yep. Up there. <coughs> okay, now, problem is here. Look how they've done this fuse board. Look how they've entered this fuse board. This conduit, look. <laughs> it's not set or anything, just plonked it in, not even fixed. Look, that one, it's just at an angle. I mean, I don't know. But I, when, when you get fuse, when, if I done a fuse board, this is based on experience. You don't see, I don't, because back, back in the day, that's what we used to do. I would put a bit of trunk in across here, butt the fuse board on it or sit the fuse board on it, butt the fuse board up or sit the fuse board on it. Um, the old slot, so you can get cables in and future, because you always have to um, think about future extension, you know? Um, the old slot with a bit of Paxilin or whatever. And then a bit of trunking, loads of um, room, you, any cables you bring into the trunking, through into the fuse board. That's what, that's what I would have done here, but um, yeah, this is just a mess. I mean, I'm going to have to, with these two, this, I'm going to have to come, I'm going to have to come down here, behind here, into there, behind here, drill another hole, and I'm going to take these two out. I'm going to have to drill another hole somewhere, take these two out and put, because um, look, <laughs> this one had a, this hole had a blind grommet in, in it, which I took out. This one, that's how it was. I mean, it can't be proper electricians doing these jobs, can it? It can't be, can't be. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, this I'm worried about this one because it's quite stiff, it's quite stiff the 16 mil to come behind here. But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Oh boy. I don't know. I don't know. When I done when I bent this, I was worried about these sharp edges which I filed off anyway, but Marlon told me this. He said to squeeze them together like that. See how squeezed them together? It's a good idea. Very good idea. Yeah. Yep, Harley told me to do that.
I throw better and more naturally with my left but everything else I'm right handed Right Right, so that's how far I've got to, um, got to pick up the two switches for there. Okay. And I haven't finished clipping them yet because the, the size clips aren't right. This one, so I had to bring this one over here. So it's not over this. So if you want to get that off, you can get it off. And then I had to curl that one around there and bring it into there. So it's the best I can do. It's a mess, but what can you do? Yeah, you're only working with what's there. So I've got a test, then I've got to run these cables down here over to there for the connection. Okay, cool. Right, I'm going to test the three phase door R1, R2, see how it goes. No point not six. No point not six. No point not eight. Okay. Right, so I'm gonna do insulation resistance. I've got all the phases clipped to gap it down to earth. Let's see what we get. Beautiful. So they're all good. So let's try the neutral now. Right, so there you are. I'm going to make off those two flex in that box, the connection in there. And made a slight ricket here because I didn't realize, I looked at it, I didn't realize how big these boxes were, these MK boxes. So I just about got them in. What I had to do, this, this um, here was over here. So there's a hole there. That's where it, so I had to move it 
put it on there just to get that in because I was thinking oh my gosh I'm gonna either have to move this that way but then I just got that idea of moving that round to there and um, squeezing it in <laughs> I don't usually like having things so close together but it's, I'd have to take everything down or do major alterations. Anyway, that's all good. Um, the only thing is I've run out of lock nuts. I can't find, uh, I've got loads of 20mm lock nuts but no 25mm. So I, what I'm going to do is try and get this one working for that one of the dishwashers to work in. And then I'll have to get a uh, thing for here and I need some other little bits and pieces to finish off. But at the moment I'm going to put some, I'm going to use the black, black as the earth. Yeah, I'm going to use the black as the earth, um, the grey as the neutral, put blue sleeving on the grey. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. Uh, finally, I've come to the end of this install for the um, two dishwashers and the three-phase oven. Okay, so let's show you what I've done. Right, so there you are. That's the oven, that's the two dishwashers. Um, if you remember right, I had the two sitting on the trunking, but I didn't like the way they looked, so I changed it and put the sockets on. Um, shoot couplers or sockets, whatever you call it. Um, I should have done the same to here, to this one, but what's done's done. <laughs> I'm never satisfied with the job I do. I, mean, I always find something wrong. So anyway, so there you are. Okay. So that's it there. Okay. And um, that's it up there. couldn't do much about getting the cables neatly down it's too many things in the way so I just had to do the best I could okay um, there you go that's um, that's my oven dish two dishwashers uh, one thing I done wrong because um, they're gonna have they're gonna start off with a 17.5 kilowatt and then up it to 32 kilowatt um, oven. Obviously, I done the calculation for the larger oven, but then I got the, the MCB for the larger oven. So obviously, I can't leave that in to run the smaller oven, so I had to get another one. I got a 50 amp for the larger. I had to go and get a 32 amp, which I had to just, which I've just fitted, okay, for the, for the, smaller oven that they're going to use first first of all okay so that's the 50 amp i've told them to put it up nice and safe so that when they do the changing of the ovens right i'm back at this industrial unit got to connect this oven it's 17 kilowatt one three phase so connect it up there but it's all wrapped up i'm not gonna undo it i'm just gonna connect it connect it now and come back and check it when they're here right so here's the lead for it okay so that's the lead hope it's long enough because it's got to go around the other side right maybe if i pass it on there yeah pass it on there it should be okay let's see how it goes I've 
got the right si size stuffing blend, but it's white. It, you want it to be black, really. This is tough rubber flex, yeah? Now, when I was doing bringing this armoured in, I was, I was thinking maybe I should use tough rubber because it's nice and flexible. Get it in, all these are so stiff, get them in, in it's really hard. So I was going to, and that's um, 16 mil. So I was thinking if I've got five core tough rubber, could, I don't see why I could use tough rubber in this. That's gonna go into it. Okay. Don't, you don't know. That's all good. Right, so I've got a couple of screws in there nicely, push that back nicely, that's all done. That's the job complete. They're, they'll come in on Monday, switch it on. Hopefully everything will be sweet. Oh, what I need to do is switch it, up, switch it on at, at the other end, because I have to isolate it to do the work, so I better go and switch it back on.